Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no ball video. Recently I posted a video with Daikin Alira 5 kilowatt air conditioner and um, I surprisingly had a quite large amount of response and this video is response to all your questions and suggestions from my previous video with Daikin. If you did not watch that video, a postcard above should pop up now. And if you watched that video and you're one of those people that ask questions about smaller, efficient air conditioners, so here it is. This video is about Mitsubishi Heavy Industry uh, 2 kilowatt air conditioner, and I soon explain why did I buy this unit and not any other unit and why I end up with Mitsubishi Heavy Industry. Just reminder, I'm not affiliated with any of those companies and this video is a genuine consumer review. I don't have any kickbacks, I'm not affiliated. So I'm here to help people like yourselves to choose better air conditioner, save money on the long, long run and share my experiences. So here it is. So why Mitsubishi Heavy Industry and why 2 kilowatts? So first of all, everyone who is in the market for air conditioner, I strongly suggest to properly measure your room. Air conditioners are very sensitive to room size. What I mean about that? So if your room is too small and you're trying to heat it up, the air conditioner design uh, made in that way that part of system lubrication it has a minimal time of operation what that means that means if it reaches temperature that you set but time that is not lapsed yet to lubricate compressor air conditioner would not stop operation and i have experience in my previous property when room was smaller than this one and the air conditioner was 2 kilowatt, which is the smaller air conditioner for the brand, the smallest one I could ever buy. It would not stop at 24 degrees in heating. It would go to 32, uh, 33, sometimes 34 degrees, depends on ambient temperature, and then cut off. When I complain to the brand, they uh, politely explain that it's a design, it's not a fault. Now, I had another experience which was uh, quite unpleasant. I described my previous video where when I bought this house, uh, I had 2.5 uh, kilo Dakin sitting in a, a smaller size living room and that air conditioner was small for this area. And when compressor failed, uh, Dakin refused warranty because it was inappropriately installed for the room size. So first thing first, doesn't matter what brand you choose, I, again, I'm not affiliated with Mitsubishi. Make sure that your air conditioner is appropriate size for your room. Now, here's the first tip. If your room doesn't have a not like normal size room, doesn't have a, a door that closes this room, if your room is open space, it's a bit trickier to uh, measure this room. So you may consult with professional, or if you would like to uh, do it yourself, make sure that you take everything in calculation so for example i've got a kind of living room that um i think it's called media room so it, it doesn't have a door it just had like an open end and it's really hard to calculate a uh, real space for a condition to cool or heat so you may need to help with that now why another video about air conditioners now we've got really tough time with the energy crisis and prices going up to cool and heat our environments. And unless you have access to very cheap uh, gas, uh, the heating, the cheapest heating of your place would come from efficient air conditioner. There's no other appliance that can cool or heat your uh, space cheaper than air conditioner. Now, even if you do have uh, access to natural gas to burn for heating of your apartment, it would not cool it down as air conditioner does. So I think if you would like independent solution, especially when you got solar power, air conditioner is the best, most efficient and cheapest way to heat up and cool down your environment. Now, how do you ensure that you uh, buy something as value for money? First of all, 
All air conditioning in Australia must be sold with five or more years warranty. So from warranty perspective, they're all the same. Where they're not the same is where they are, uh, when they fail and they need new parts, uh, this is where um, some kind of problems may arise. So if you choose most uh, reputable brands like Panasonic, Mitsubishi, Daikin, uh, even uh, like Kelvin Azure and others, you should have no problem. If you're choosing no name air conditioners or new and upcoming, it's your gamble. Now, most reputable brands, they are leading market with the performance, technology and efficiency. So for example, I bought this air conditioner um, a year ago and now uh, energy efficient star rating is changing because it's a little bit outdated. But when I bought it, energy star rating was five and this air conditioner was the only one in the market with the seven stars. Stars aside, I, 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 I don't like stars because they're not telling you a story. If someone like numbers, so here are the numbers. When you start this air conditioner, uh, obviously in the beginning of operation, it will ramp up and, and consume more power. So maximum power that I registered that this air conditioner uses is one kilowatt. One kilowatt is not even half of consumption of your kettle. But in that one kilowatt, it produces so much heat or so much cold. It's not even funny. It's really efficient. Now, when it reaches temperature, what I call operational level, the maintenance of the temperature, uh, I had a night in Brisbane, uh, which was like six, seven degrees uh, outside. And I turned this air conditioner for 24. When it reached uh, operational temperature, the consumption of, of that air conditioner overnight was 200 watts so in 10 hours of operation it's consumed two kilowatts it's less again than your kettle if you if you boil it for an hour so uh, what i'm trying to say is if you buy any small heater it will be 2000 watts so in an hour of this small heater which would not heat this room up that's how much energy this air conditioner consume overnight now uh, energy energy efficiency and brand reputation is important but what's also important is to consider consider the price and where price is right everything falls in the right place what do you mean price is right so this acquisition was in a bit uh, more expensive domain but when I say expensive if you buy a uh, comparable Mitsubishi electric or Mitsubishi heavy industry or even Panasonic they all would cost approximately the same so two kilowatt unit would be approximately eight hundred dollars to buy. I bought this air conditioner for nine hundred sixty. So let's say you buy air conditioner and you spend let's say two hundred dollars more. What that means in a five year term, almost nothing. You would definitely save an electricity cost in everything if you consider more uh, advanced unit. Now people with the small children and sensitive hearing. This air conditioner comes with slight downside, so it's not all a uh, fantastic story. So what downside is? To create that such efficiency, this air conditioner is designed differently. It not only opens the front bit, the whole air conditioner when it operates opens up. When it reaches operation temperature and needs to slow down, it actually uh, kind of closes and opens its go. So, it does create noise. I will show in a second what do I mean. It's not a, um, an intrusive noise, but if you're very sensitive to noise, you may not like it opening and closing because it does make noise. So let me uh, turn it on. And as you can see, no more conditioner. Uh, the bottom uh, bit would open up as usual, right? This air conditioner also opens the top bit, and you will see it in a second. Uh, as you can see, it reclines down and then will shift up. What it's doing, it's basically taking a larger intake of air in and ensures that there's a smaller, uh, sorry, the bigger output as well. So there's no struggle to move air through the air conditioner. It's one of those parts of efficiency that Mitsubishi introduced to create such a good energy rating. So what's the point of my video? 
if someone in the market for a uh, decent air conditioner, I do recommend to buy a reputable brand. And uh, in Mitsubishi heavy industry, and now they can look air conditioners catching up. There are most efficient models in, in a reputable brands. But I think in two kilowatt version, this model is still uh, most efficient. And I put link down below what model it is. Um, feel free to read, discuss, and also if you have an opinion on how to achieve better efficiency, what's your um, experience with other brands, feel free to start discussion. I think we'll all benefit from this community where consumers share their stories. And, you know, the life is tough at the moment, and, and I appreciate when people like me collaborate and make sure that other people get a better deal on their energy, on their savings, on uh, better plants and, and everything that we do. Again, thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time.